Hello and welcome to Raven's Arcana. I am Raven. Thank you so much for joining me. And this is your timeless tarot reading, meaning it is not bound to any day, week, month, or year. And we start the reading out with the Four of Wands, followed by the Ace of Cups, and then we end the reading with the Star card. So I don't typically read in past, present, and future, but this came through intuitively exactly like that. So this is talking about a relationship. It could be a marriage, right? So we see a couple, looks like they're celebrating a union. Now a union, once again, doesn't have to be something that you bring in someone that is going to be your spouse. It could be a romantic relationship, right? Without marriage. And so I definitely think this is romantic. It's not always that way with the uh, Four of Wands, but this is definitely a stable relationship in the past, right? So you came together, there was a big celebration, and it could have been your friends trying to get you together and uh, just really so happy for that commitment between you two. And I think that was a beautiful moment, right? That was a big part in each one of your lives. And then that provided that, you know, look, you know, wands are passion, right? Having that passionate relationship. Sometimes we talk about the passion burning out too fast. I don't think that's the case here. I think this was the whole nine, right? Everything mentally stimulating, emotionally, spiritually, you know, physically, of course. And that's what brought both of you together. To tie that knot, whether it was in a marriage or with a relationship, right? Now, with the Ace of Cups, so we're talking about the present. So presently, I think you are looking for a new beginning. And it's not a new beginning with someone else. I think you need a refresh in the relationship. You want to get back to that romance, that passion, right? If we're talking about the Four of Wands. And as it happens in life, with all relationships, you know, that fire kind of dims a little bit, right? That passion dims a little bit, the romance. We're typically on our best behavior when we're in the courting process, if you will. And life gets in the way with work, with kids, with family. I mean, there's a whole lot that can get in there and kind of derail that passion romance and the connection that you had when you first started so i think both partners are looking for a refresh here something to get back to the roots of what brought you together in the first place you know the chocolates the flowers the poetry the date nights you know movie nights having a glass of wine and watching a movie on the couch watching a movie excuse me <laughs> But if we get to the future, we have the star card, right? So the star is going to represent hope. It's the ultimate hope card. And you ended this reading with a major arcana. So it's a big deal. And the stars just speak in this card, and especially in this reading. It was written in the stars. Still have hope, right? And not hope that I'm going to wish and pray it happens. You have to do some work, right? And so have that communication, search for that balance, that emotional balance in the relationship. The star card's about balance as well. Look at the two cups. So equal partners. So if it's not happening, meaning the conversation to get back to that romance, that spark, liven it up a little bit, right? then you be the one that step forward. You be the one with the cup in your hand, extending your arm out, saying that, hey, let's do this. I have an idea. Let's have a date night. Let's get away for the weekend. Let's call in sick and watch movies or just chat and listen to music. Whatever it is that you know will bring you together. And that future will be brighter than ever. Look at those stars. All right. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you sticking around. If you like the reading, 
you like the video, give it a like. If you're not subscribed and you enjoy the content, by all means, subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you'd like to have alerts on new readings and new material when I release it. And other than that, take care of yourself and have an amazing day.